Hey guys, I'm everywhere. I'm even hiding inside your Pierce Collar activities. Man, you just can't get away from me, huh? <laughs> okay, cool. You know, instructions are instructions. Sometimes it's, it's nice to have a, a video kind of instructions rather than a reading kind of instructions. The reading instructions are um, obviously there as well. Uh, you will find them on the Quercus homepage. Uh, and I highly recommend that for each phase, you spend a bit of serious time reading through the instructions because they're really you know, guiding you through what we, what we need you to do. Um, and that will be reflected in how we grade you. So the better you understand our expectations, uh, the better the grade you can get on this whole activity. All right, I may have also um, been able to paste in all the instructions below here. So it's possible that right below this video, those instructions are present as well. I wanted to add this video um, just to kind of make sure everyone's seeing the thread of what we're doing, because we're doing something kind of complex this year, but I think it's also very cool. Yes, you're learning intro psych in the general way, you know, getting all the points, but we're also trying to connect a few of these other things we're doing in this class so that you can also see the relevance and, and see um, uh, a sort of bigger picture where we can tie in a lot of things while also, of course, exercising your critical thinking, your creative thinking, and your communication skills. In fact, that's really what Peer Scholar uh, was designed to do, was to give you guys a lot of practice with thinking, with communication, with the sorts of skills that will make you successful no matter what you do in life. But they are skills, and because they are skills, you need to practice them. And, and early on, when you practice some new skill, you don't get a lot of reward for it. Uh, it doesn't feel like you instantaneously get a benefit, but when you keep practicing, then you get better and better. And if you get better at these skills, they will help you succeed in life. So, you know, that's why we're doing this. Now, I'll give you more of the skills story when we get to phase two, the assess phase, uh, because that's really where the practice kicks in. This phase, the create phase, is really going to sort of set the context for all this thought and discussion. And so, what we decided to do here was to kind of do something that connects the digital lab code activity with the ripen activity that we're about to do. So you know what the digital lab code activity is by now, you've been through it. The ripen activity is the one with the public service announcements for the police. Um, and then you've got this one stuck in the middle. Now, our idea here was let's follow up from the uh, digital lab code experience. So in the digital lab code experience, you got sense of parts of being a scientist, you know, the whole idea of testing hypotheses and replicating results and coming up with theories and ideas. Um, we want to continue that. So the core task here is for you to find a scientific article, to read it, so, so you really get a sense of what a, what we call a primary source looks like, a, a real, you know, uh, write up about an experiment. Uh, and so we want this article to have experiments, by the way, I should stress that. Uh, at least one experiment, maybe just one or two experiments. Don't get anything too fancy. Uh, so we want you to read it. Try your best to really understand what the scientific motivations were and what was going on. Um, and then you, there's sort of two tasks that we have related to that. And task one is to summarize what you've read. And this is going to be a test of your ability to put things in your own words. So please, you know, take, remember all that AIM module, remember the um, plagiarism stuff? Well, this is where it becomes critical that you not plagiarize. So read through that article, try to figure out what you think the main themes are, um, and, and try to summarize that. What was the, what was the investigator testing? What was, you know, what was the issue they were focused on? Um, what sort of experiments did they do to test it? Uh, what were the results of those experiments and, and what did they ultimately conclude from those? So a little summary that kind of hits those points. Um, that's part one. Part two is um, for you to imagine you're a graduate student or something like that who has read this scientific paper and now you're kind of thinking about, okay, I would like to follow up. I would like to do some research that continues this, um, this line of inquiry that we're, that we're kind of following. And so what would you do next? And we've done this before, by the way, and let me just caution you. What we found before was that people did very lame things next, or they suggested lame things. I would test with a bigger sample. I would test with only females or something like that. Um, what we would, yeah, and, and I mean, that counts. You can do that stuff. But we're going to give a little extra reward for people who actually, you know, kind of think about the theory and come up with something that's a little bit more deep. 
you know, a little bit more reflective of, okay, you've thought about it and here's something cool that you would like to, you would like to see. And maybe to test the theory further, uh, maybe to see if it extends to this new situation, something like that. Um, but, but we'd like to see a little bit of creative thought, a little bit of scientific thought um, going into your suggestion. But basically that's it. Summary, and then what would you do next? Now, the other thing we've done here is um, we want to connect to the Ripen project. So the Ripen project, as you know, is going to require you to create some public service announcement around traffic safety, road safety. Um, and I'm going to post a separate video where I'm going to talk about that as we get closer. You're, you're getting the taste of it, and I'll get more specific as we get closer. But we thought, why not also use this Peer Scholar activity as a way of starting to um, get things in place for your next activity. So specifically, there's sort of three things converging here. In class, we're going to start talking about consciousness right after the spring break. Uh, and, and we will get into issues of attention and divided attention when we do that. Um, of course, we had the, the police come and they're starting to talk about, you know, they came and talked about um, the issue that we're getting at. So our idea here in this activity was, well, let's expose you to some of the basic research. Of course, the phone has to ring right now. Um, I'm going to take this. I'll come back. I can edit it out. Hello. And it's a political call. Hey, of course it's a political call. Why not just leave now? Who knows? All right. So, um, so the idea is to expose you some. You're going to be exposed to research doing this. So why not get you to do things related to the ripen activity? So to go find a paper. Um, related to either attention, selective attention, um, what's maybe called the capacity of consciousness. Um, selective attention will be your big term, I think. Um, so that's one sort of area you could sort of mine and find a paper that you kind of like and then summarize that paper. The other one is more with respect to the issue of trying to persuade someone um, to potentially change their behavior. So, so that area we generally call persuasion. Um, there may be other good terms you could find to kind of get at that, but what I suggest is you, you go to either Google Scholar or the library uh, resources with respect to psychological articles and you do some searching and you find one paper either related to attention, distraction, you know, that sort of side of things, or related to the persuasion side of things. Doesn't matter, pick one, either way, um, and that's the paper that you're going to use. What you will ultimately see is that within Peer Scholar, you're going to see what six of your peers wrote about. So yes, you're going to learn in depth about whatever paper you research, but you're also going to learn about six other papers. And so the idea here is that by the end of this Peer Scholar activity, you will have been exposed to about seven original sources um, related to this topic that you'll be you know, following up on uh, in your ripen activity. And so, yeah, the hope is, yeah, we're going to have you do all this critical thinking and stuff, but we're going to do it in a way that better prepares you for your next activity. And now we have this overarching theme of the course that relates to both the scientific method and the scientific process, but also the application of science into a real world context, and that is road safety. And of course, psychology is sitting right in the middle of that as a scientific discipline that does have applied value. Um, so that's that, you know, that's our, our devious thinking behind this activity. Um, and yeah, that's your task. So hopefully that's all clear. I'll be seeing you again in the assess phase and in the reflect phase. Talk to you a little bit more there, but let's just cut it there for now. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.